Knock on the wall next to you and check whether it's a part. Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the holograms and screw them in with a drill. job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to! Isn't that amazing? By 100 plasterboards! Well done! Now place them on one side! Looks great! After installing the plasterboard, you'll need to use nails to attach it. Take your drill out and screw them in! needs to be insulated. Rock wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wools in the shop. Excellent! To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. By 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Good job! Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets!
build a concrete partition wall. The wheel on the bill goes round and round. is the lightest kind of building you can construct. A lighthouse! Wanna hear a construction joke? Wait, I'm still working on it! to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a hammer in your hand and destroy them. You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. See you in a minute. Fellow builder, what goes up and down, but stays in the same place? <laughs> Stairs! <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Great! Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. With a scroll wheel, you can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. Psst. This also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your hammer! Nice! Now, buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick! Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Thank you, and see you later. Next 
stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy hip roof blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice! Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding! More bearing balls! <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. Superb! Put tiles on the roof. Welcome to the source of our game! We call it Planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build! Sounds great? You can save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other players. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job! Let's start with the load-bearing walls. Select them from the element. You can create walls in a line 
or rectangle by pressing shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls. Good job. Now let's draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Project. Call it how you like. Great! Now you'll be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge! So lots of creative fun ahead. However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, Use the random option. See you later! Foundations sound fun! 